you ever go into your local uh, BevMo liquor store, wherever you buy your brew, you're walking up and down the aisles, and something catches your eye. And it's not even something you're really looking for. It might not even be in your taste of brew, but the, the label catches you. And you go, oh, i got to try that. Well, that's what happened when I picked up this. Um, it's called, man, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right, Mugion? Mugion? Anyway, the spelling is M-O-G-O-L-L-O-N. And they call it the Skunk Ape Double Black IPA. Now, it takes big, serious, dark, sidious balls to write the word skunk and put it right on the front label of your brew. Now, granted, they're referring to the Skunk Ape. Now, on the side, it reads... Skunk Ape Double Black IPA, the first beer in the Mugion Monster Mash series. The Skunk Ape, a large, hairy, bipedal animal, is closely akin to the famed Sasquatch. As a rule, the creature's appearance is usually preceded by a thick, skunk-like odor, and its screams cut through the night air, sending chills up the spine of all who are in earshot. We brew this Double Black IPA as, a dark, as dark as midnight and stuff it full of hops. At 10% ABV, you will enjoy your encounter with this skunk ape with much more pleasing, slightly roasted and hoppy aroma and may find yourself running screaming into the night for more. <laughs> this we just gotta try. We got let's let's go pour it. Okay, they said they brew it black as midnight. Well, that's some that's some black brew there. Shows off the, the Jedi Order symbol on the glass quite well, though. Skunk Ape. Double Black IPA. Well, definitely has the, the hoppiness aroma of what you'd expect from an IPA, a double IPA. They said they brew it black as midnight. I can't even see through this glass. And granted, it's a little dark out. I don't got a whole lot of sunlight. But even if I hold it up, this, this looks like motor oil. A little thinner than motor oil. Well, let's try it. Tastes like a serious double IPA that's black. Reminds me kind of a, like old viscosity out of uh, out of uh, port brewing. Yeah, it's got the bitterness you'd expect from a double IPA. Not as hoppy as one might would think. Definitely though, um, like I said, it, it, it took some big balls to put the word skunk on it. It's not skunky. <laughs> it's pretty much a serious, a serious double IPA. It's got, the, it's got the finish of a double IPA. It's not peeling the skin off my tongue like some of the stone products do, but it's got a mouth feel that, that lends to the bitterness. It sits well on the palate. It's not, it doesn't feel thin, but yet it's not like NyQuil thick. Mm. And it's got a good finish. I'm not a huge double A fan, or a double IPA fan. I don't mind a good double IPA. Um, Essence out of Hanger, that's a good double IPA. Um, of course, we all know Stone. Of course, we all know Double Daddy out of Speakeasy. This, from a Monster Mash collection, Skunk Ape Double Black Double IPA. Man, it's, it's, it's tasty. I would have never have ordered it. But like I said, the a good label catches your eye. That's some good marketing right there, people. Hell, look at how the Empire got all those people to join up. It's good. Try it. Try it for the simple fact you can say you bought it. And with that said, may the force be with you.